Hello guys, so if you actually managed to catch the last video that I posted, which was the quarterfinals of the anniversary tournament versus Duckier Lamb, um, after that I went on to actually play XCA5 in the semi-finals, which was a best of three. Unfortunately, because of everything that was going on on the day, I forgot to click record for that series. Uh, it was actually a really good series, um, so if you can go back on Twitch and watch it, then by all means do so, but we ended up losing the series 2-1, but it could have easily swung the other way, so I, I could have won 2-1 or 2-0, in fact, uh, and gone through to the winner's finals against Rock Generation, but uh, unfortunately it didn't work out that way. So right now, we have been knocked to the loser's bracket, and we come up against Hero Absolution, obviously who got knocked out by Ducky Alarm in the winner's bracket, which is why I didn't face him. Uh, I faced Ducky instead and beat him, then lost to XA. Now we are in the losers against Hero Absolution. Okay guys, so here we are in the best of one in the losers bracket on Mirage. So opted to pick Yap Yap here. Um, obviously opponent coming out with also a very strong leader pick in terms of Shipmaster. Shipmaster probably the meta pick in any tournament right now across all of the maps. You will see him uh, a lot. Um, as you can see, I decided to obviously play keyboard and mouse, which I've been practicing for probably the last two and a half weeks, really. Uh, trying to make a full-time switch to mouse on keyboard instead of controller. So the strategy here, opening up, uh, because he has elite grunts, he has an honor guard, Shipmaster's early game is uh, mainly based around cloak. Um, choppers seem to be a very good opener against Shipmaster. Um, and then I can opt for the shrapnel rounds to get detect if I need to. So in order to get that quickly, I actually went gen second. So I'm not prioritizing the mini bases, but I want to deny as much power as possible early on here. So you can see I've got fodder on the middle power, on my own power, and I've sent the chopper to actually harass his power, hoping to kill a grunt. Unfortunately, that doesn't actually work out. So we're just going to... Send the fodder to his mini base here. A bit of weird move commands with my units just weren't working for some reason. I've noticed this on mouse and keyboard a lot. You will issue some commands and like the unit will just stand there more often than it does on controller. Uh, I don't know why this is, but it's very weird. You see here we changed our decision making to pick up the double mini instead of the single mini. And we're going to drop the man as well in the middle to deny the power. Uh, it doesn't matter too much that it didn't arm and explode and actually kill the grunt like it usually would because we actually wanted to spawn the two vet free fodder because the vet free fodder are very strong and they can take on these grunts so we get a nice pick off on the right stop denying some of the blue with our chopper now I'm going to pick up the others and back to the decision making on the double mini as you have yet we want to make sure we out mini base our opponent here um, and the middle mini is great for just spamming units with Yap Yap. You put a raid camp on there and you have quick access to any mini on the map. So the pretty similar distances between the single minis on the map. So you have the ability to send Grunt Riders everywhere and take out the minis. But overall, we just want a few Grunt Riders in the early game. Right now we haven't scouted him. Probably a mistake. I have three units. I have cannon fodder. I should already have units at his base scouting him to see what he's doing. Um, luckily, it does turn out okay for us uh, because my overall strategy is to go into shrapnel round choppers no matter what he does. And the reason my decision making behind that is that if he goes grunts, I will beat them with shrapnel round choppers. If he goes on a guard, I will beat it with shrapnel round choppers. So you see, because of that gen second, we get a nice early, about 2 minutes 50 shrapnel chopper upgrade here on our choppers. Um, we probably gave it away too early, so that one chopper was going to harass that nerd. Um, but he already knows we have it now, so he can now react. So it looks like he's got a lot of grunts. And the other reason for going choppers is that if I go infantry and he goes ghosts, uh, 
it's no contest. Like, Ghost just completely dominate everything on take one. Uh, it wouldn't even be close. So we're just going to drop Mines here because it looks like he's going for that nerd. So we're just going to deny that. Uh, trying to pick off as many grunts as possible. Deny as many units as possible. Because it does look like, from my point of view, that he's prioritizing getting tech two. Which is really what you want to do with Shipmaster. Especially against a Yap Yap. Yap Yap definitely has a better tech one. And we see the honor guard there, so I don't know if he was already going on a guard from his original build or if he's done that to try and counter the choppers in some way. Uh, but the honor guard against choppers really isn't good, especially when they're already upgraded. Um, I would say it's more of just a delay tactic, to be honest, on his behalf to try and get tech 2, because there's not a lot of options here. He didn't go ghost. And here I'll just try and bait the honor guard with no shield into the mine. It actually works perfectly well. So we're going to get some ramps down. His shield comes off. We force an extract. So that's an absolute huge victory for us there. That allows us to pick off all of these grunts, split our choppers, and we have grunt riders on the mini bases as well. So you can see how quickly um, games can change, essentially. We already went uh, the second gen early. Uh, got a lot of eco, got a lot of map control, so we're going to pick up an early expo. Yap Yap is all about spamming and uh, getting these leader powers as quickly as possible. So we've got an honor guard on our uh, front riders, we need to protect that. He knows the choppers are coming, he has scouts all over the map, so he has to get out of there. So we're just going to do a bit of damage to him. And basically, we render the honor guard useless, like there's nothing he can do on tech 1 here. He has to play for spirit support, he has to play for tech 2, and the goal from myself as Yap Yap is to get as much yap, uh, map control as possible and make sure he doesn't get a sneaky expansion really. Uh, we're going to try and take some of these nodes away from him as well because he does have two nodes so he will be tech to very soon. And we're just going to grab that base as well. And the reason we grab that base is because again we want to boost our leader powers we have complete dominant map control of these choppers he can't kill the choppers at the moment so if you just play it safe he can't kill them so we still have this huge army uh, that we can actually do a lot of work with so we don't really need to build any more units at this time we now stop building power units um, to play for tech 2 and we take both power nodes away from him you now see us jump across to the left gonna check the expansions probably realized while all this was going on that I haven't checked over there and if he has it it would cause a big problem for me. He's probably already in tech 2 but we're just going to pick off a couple more of these grunts. Got 800 blue um, and 60 pop. So really this is probably a time where we should build that fair generator just because we're so dominant at the moment. So he doesn't have that expo which is absolutely great for us because we're on two bases. We're about to have every mini base and you'll notice earlier I hovered over shade drop but then chose beam. So what was going through my mind was the fact that spirit supports come in and if he drops in spirit support anywhere within my vision I will instantly be able to beam it and kill it because that's the only thing that's going to help him get back into this game right now. He does have a tech 2 honor guard, so that is very difficult for my choppers to actually kill. We've got a nice safe expansion all the way on the back right, so we're going to choose to upgrade the closer expansion to his main, giving us further map control, and now we start working on these goblins. Yep, goblins very good when you get that tech 2 upgrade and tech 3 onwards. And there is the third generator. Personally, I would say that third generator came down late. Couple more rams on the honor guard, he has now lost his shield, so we get to do a bit of damage here. Go grunt some buff just to get some of that methane wagon debuff. Don't need grunt dome at the moment because we don't really have an army that can push his main. We notice he's going banshees. I see why he's going banshees because uh, I had a lot of choppers on tech 1, so going into banshees uh, usually works, but it's very easy to counter when they go banshees on tech 2. Uh, we only have four choppers left anyway, this honor guard's still weak. Try getting his shield back up, but we're just going to ram that off, so do a bit more damage to him. And we have a reaver on the way as well, just to counter this. And it's just a matter of time, really. At this point in the game, we should... As long as we don't fuck up, as long as we don't make any mistakes, uh, we should be able to close this out. 
He's got a weak on a guard coming to my base. Now we got some Grunt Riders to ram him, and we have the Goblin. Take one Goblin. Not upgraded yet. And here comes his spray support. So you notice I got beam earlier. I cancel my upgrade immediately to drop the beam. He drops his beam as well, but this is actually a better trade than us because we're so far ahead. So we kill the whole spirit support. He managed to take down two Grunt Riders and a Goblin, which I'm going to rebuild. But the fact is, we have every mini. We have three bases. That was such a much better trade for us than it was for him. Has to extract the Honor Guard out of there as well. Cannot deal with our army. Uh, it does have quite a number of Banshees building up, but... They're pretty much tech zero, our, our Reavers can deal with them. And it's going to be a bit dry in the game at the moment because from my point of view right now, the game's over, it's just he can't really do a lot to come back into this. He lost his spirit support, uh, that's normally Shipmaster's nail in the coffin to swing games. Gets a vet one on a guard, has no extract so if we can do some damage to this and hopefully kill it, the game will be guaranteed. Try and micro the weavers away. We bring the NG over to heal the weak one, try and catch those branches, but we're gonna look at picking this mini up before he does. Keeping that reaver alive with the NG again. Pick the mini up so he can't. That's gonna be annoying for him because he has to kind of stay to try and deal with it, and all these branches are pretty much dead. Just the two reavers there, keeping that one alive. Take the power node from them again. And we're almost in tech free. Start building some Lurkus now. We'll combo the Lurkus with the Methane drop. That does actually 20% extra damage and they get 20% extra armor as well with the Methane. Realize that we're quite vulnerable on our main in case he does have anything. Uh, it's only two Banshee and Honor Guard at the moment. He could do a bit of eco damage with that. Uh, I don't think he has a lot at his main built up uh, to do any sort of tactical gateway play or anything like that and here comes the methane drop now just to combo with those locusts I'll pull the locust back because he does have a sensor tower and it is getting damaged a couple more locusts on the way on a guard i believe now is tech free and it is vet one so it can be pretty scary just got grunt dome and we have the locust and we have the methane so this is basically pushing time this is closing out the game time and we have been patiently waiting for this point. Unfortunately for us, he manages to take down two of our lurkers, so we only have one left. But we have a big enough army here to take down this honor guard. Extract shouldn't be up. We should be able to kill it. He's on race now as well, but again, we have the superior army. Honor guard goes down. We kill the wraith. We push up to the main. We grunt dome. Exactly like that. Drop the mines under the Grunt Dome. Spirit Support lands straight on top of them. That's his whole army. And this is where most players would usually resign. He can't set down my Grunt Dome, never mind my Locust, my leaders, everything else. Uh, the game was just really clean. Um, very clean Yap Yap game, uh, especially against the Shipmaster, in my opinion. So this moves us on through the loser's 